You watching Kenroy Batiste TV. Click, view, convenience around the clock. Hi, I'm Neela, and today I am here with Crystal Laguerre on Personality Grenada. You are watching Kenroy Batiste Television. Hi, Crystal. Nice to have you with us today. How are you? I am fine. Was, I feel really, really happy to be in your presence because you are a, a growing um, personality here in Grenada and you are on Personality Grenada, so you should feel, you know, really, It is, really good. it is. It's very exciting. Right. So 100,000 people are going to be watching you because, you know, Grenada is a small island. You might have some, you know, overseas viewers as well. Mm -hmm. So we are excited to have you on our show today. Thank so, you. Um, Tell us a little about yourself. Ah, well, my name is Crystal Aguirre. Mm -hmm. I, I live at Vendome, and I am involved in a lot of theater work. Mm -hmm. I, I sing, I try a little dancing now and then, <laughs> acting and playing the guitar as well. Okay. What do you enjoy most about um, what you do? I am, I am mostly into the singing. Mm -hmm. That is my first... I, sh I should say my first love, first love, singing, and then I started acting, and then I went to I started it, went into some learning to play the guitar, and and everything came after. Yeah, okay. I started singing in church when I was ten. I joined mm -hmm. the church choir at ten, and being in the choir, that has laid a foundation for me. And then I got involved in other productions, like A Night at the Opera. A lady approached me and she said, are you interested in singing opera? Really? And I was probably at probably 15 at that time. And I was like, me? When did you do A Night at the Opera? At the Grand Beach Resort. Oh. It, it, my first time, she gave me a solo mm -hmm. and I was nervous. <laughs> It was, it was a really frightening experience, but the next year I did it again, and from then I just grew and grew. I took part mm -hmm. in Grenada's Best Talent, mm -hmm. and I think that was the time when my popularity, I would say, started, started to, to grow. Yeah, yeah, because, and then I got involved in, in other aspects of performing, started working as a full-time performer, mm -hmm. And I would say that I have grown a lot because when I think back at myself at 10 years old, being very shy and, you know, just very quiet and not even wanting to sing a single note, right. now I am more confident and ready to take on almost anything. Because <laughs> looking at you now, nobody would think, oh, I, I'm very shy or whatever. You don't look shy at all. I am you? still shy. Yeah? yeah? I am. I, I still get nervous before I go on stage, but... No, it's not as bad as mm -hmm. before because before I would literally be shaking. Right. Yeah. So would you say Grenada's best talent? Um, was that the last thing you did as performing? In, well, not internationally, but on a on a big stage. I took part in the competition twice, mm -hmm. but the first time, I think that is when people started to. That's when people got aware of who who I am. Right. And from since then, just being in that competition alone has opened a lot of opportunities for me. Mm -hmm. Because being in that competition, I got to work full time as a performer. Right. And from then, a lot of, a, a lot of other opportunities came as well. Mm -hmm. Who did you work for as a performer? I started working at Spice Basket. Mm -hmm. I finished college looking for a job. And I got hired as a full-time performer at Spice Basket, started working with people like Francis Urias Peters, mm -hmm. doing the acting, which was something that was new to me. And it's something that I do enjoy a lot right now. Right, because yeah. I, I do remember you, remember you in Belinda, and Belinda was a play by Francis Urias mm -hmm. Peters um, last year, I think. And was that your first acting, acting job? No, it wasn't. We did a play before called Mama Guy. Right. And that was the first. It was funny. I, I had a role where I had to be this this aggressive mother and and it it was a lot of fun. I mm -hmm. on the stage, that is where I belong. That's when I feel I am truly myself. Mm -hmm. um, what role does your family play in all of this? My family they are my toughest critique. Right. If I have a performance, I would ask everyone to come and take a seat, and I would perform, and they'll be, mm -mm. 
that's not something good. Don't do that. Or if it's, if it's good, they would say, all right, that's good. Mm -hmm. So I depend on them a lot, especially my sister, because she would tell me, plain, that's not something Can't good. Can't do that. Can't <laughs> sing so, right? Yeah. And they are very supportive in, in all, all the things that I get involved in. And like when I have a play, they would come out and support. So it's, it's really great. OK, so it's a good, good support from family. Yes. How about your, your community, friends? Um, do they have any role to play as well in your yeah, development? Yes, I will say so. Uh, in the community, I would get calls to come and assist the children's choir because mm -hmm. I would have some experience with the choir before. Mm -hmm. So I would help out with that. Uh, community events. I would do performances as well. I'm also in a community band. We visit the prison and the homes and, you know, those doing voluntar voluntary uh, char charity work, mm -hmm. giving back. And it's, it's, it's a wonderful experience because you get to go out. Yes, I get to do something meaningful, but I also get to do what I love. Well, you just miss, you know, goody two shoes here, <laughs> you know, good Samaritan and everything. You take part in community activities mm -hmm. and you work as a performer. Um, would you say that money, I, I know you're in Grenada and, you know, money seems to be something that, you know, we want money, everybody needs money. And because this is the only thing you do, um, does money, matter to you? Is it like, I know in the entertainment industry here, sometimes, you know, as soca artists, the soca artists would probably make a lot of money during the carnival season. But how does that play, you know, into your whole entertainment thing? I mean, do you still work at Spice Basket as a performer? Well, for me, money, of course, it, it's important mm -hmm. because we all need it to survive. But when it comes to performing, that isn't my first that isn't my first priority. Because I did resign from Spice Basket mm -hmm. full time. I still do performances there. However, I just felt that I that not being I don't want to say tied down, but not being involved in a full time job would it, it was preventing me from getting the opportunities to explore other performances. Right. So now I am involved in I perform with a band mm -hmm. uh, probably about four times a week. I am also involved in hosting, mm -hmm. uh, chit chat for the right. time, yeah. And you know, it's, it's a lot because I, as I said, I'm getting to do what I love, so money isn't the first priority. So it's no. a love of it. I, I know a, a, lot of, a lot of people in Grenada, they would think, oh, I need money for this. But a lot of times we need to consider what do we like doing. And I think yep. I heard somebody say, um, if you're looking for a job, look for something that you really like doing, even if it doesn't pay as much, yep. right? Because you get more fulfillment from it. And I really like the fact that you, you have captured that. Um, you, you're doing things that you love, and it mm -hmm. makes you a better person. Eh? It, it really does, and I've seen it, I've experienced that as well, because I don't want to you know, just go and look for any old job because I need money, yep. but you, you still need to love what you do, and I really, really admire that about you. Do you think that you have a lot of fans out there who you know, really respect that fact about you, or they just like you because, oh, she's a good singer? Um, I hope so. <laughs> I hope. I mean, yeah, money isn't everything mm -hmm. because I remember growing up very young. I have a, a love for animals. Mm -hmm. And I remember growing up thinking, I want to be a vet so that I can take care of, of the animals that I love so greatly. And yes, I still love them, mm -hmm. but I found something else where I am, where I am much more at peace with. Right performing, being on stage, where I can do things that you wouldn't normally do, walking <laughs> on the street, you know. It just gives you the opportunity to, to, to let go mm -hmm. and, and become whoever you want to become. Right. And that is a very, very good um, way to look at things. Um, what, what about you being in Grenada? I know, like I said before, Grenada is a small island. Where do you want to take your entertainment career? Do you want to make it a career? Do you want to stay here in Grenada? What, what do you want to do with that? My plans for now, the way my life is, I am quite happy with it. Mm -hmm. I get to perform. I have a lot of time that I can practice my singing, my guitar as mm -hmm. well. But eventually, probably, I don't know. I mean, I, I would like to, to make it big, but mm -hmm. I have, I am open. To, to different opportunities. If I get the opportunity to study performing arts, I will take that. If I get the opportunity to 
uh, perform and, and, and record my music as well, I would do it. Mm -hmm. So um, I won't say that I am stuck in one dream. It's where it goes, mm -hmm. I follow you. Yeah. Where it goes, and it, it could start here, it could mm -hmm. bloom, well, I mean, it did start here. It's, it's you know, and it's blooming here. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of, you know, blooming and blossoming taking place, mm -hmm. even with you. I mean, I knew you from before, but I would have never thought, like two years ago, I never thought, I mean, Christelle, are you serious? She's singing now, she's <laughs> playing the guitar, are you serious? So I think, I think it, there has been a lot of blooming, and like I said, I knew you from before, I never knew you could sing at all, and you know, or just knowing this, you know, this more more information about you just gets me more, you know. I, I feel excited. I kind of want to, you know, start <laughs> singing and playing the guitar some more too. But, you know, like you said, it's, it's the love, you know, it you is, have to really yeah. love. And I see a lot of passion in your eyes. And, you know, I see you working, you know, in the community. I've seen you sing, you know, on stages, many stages. And we were chatting downstairs, and you did say that you sang recently at um, Miss Big and Beautiful. Yes, I did. And I, as you said, well, I know you from school. And <laughs> a lot of the, the people that I went to school with, they, they were shocked mm -hmm. to know that I sing and that I'm so involved in the performing arts. And this friend of mine that I went to school with, mm -hmm. she came up to me and she said, wow, Crystal, I saw you performing at the Queen Show. And I was so surprised. Yeah. I didn't even know that, that you sang and all of that. Mm -hmm. And it is, it's, it's nice for me to, to get that response from people because I go out there hoping to do my best. And I'm very happy that, that the audience enjoys, right. enjoys what I do. Yeah. Right. So we are looking at the Grenadian idol. We have a Grenadian <laughs> idol, idol on our hands. So we, we, um, we are expecting more from you, you know, in terms of performances and so on. And later on in the show, we, we are going to ask you to play a little something for us. Yes, I hope you don't no mind. No problem. <laughs> hope you do not mind at all. I'm sure our fans would really love to see, you know, and hear your, your, your talent because I think it's, it's something great. I have heard it and I think it's um, amazing. So I'm really excited to hear, you know, from our fans as to what they also think about you. Um, uh, you. You talked about studying and so on. Do you think it's, it's going to happen in the near future? Are you going to leave all, you know, Little Island and, and go? And I, we, want, we want to see you on the big screen. We want, to, you know, we want another Kirani James, <laughs> right? But um, are you going to come back here? I know you, you, you talked a lot about you know, giving back to the community and so on, and you are good at that. So we would really like for you to come back. How do you see that playing out for it, you? It, it all depends on, on how the journey goes for me. Because all for now, I am not, I'm not planning anything. Mm -hmm. All for now, I'm just enjoying what I'm doing right now. I get to sing. I get to, you know, I'm doing what I love. And next year, I will start working on some, on some things, getting prepared for whichever opportunity would come. Mm -hmm. So if I do get the opportunity to go and study, I would like to be prepared for whenever right. that time comes. Mm -hmm. if, if I get the opportunity to become a big star, right. I want to be ready, you know? So it's all in the planning, yeah? I'm, I'm working on it, but all for now, mm -hmm. I'm so just you're enjoying. you're not necessarily looking for it, you're just maybe hoping at the same time? I mean, you're preparing for I'm preparing, it. my eyes are open. Right. I'm not uh, after it 100% mm -hmm. at the moment, but if it would come right now, mm -hmm. Yes. You know, opportunities are good. It'll be a good thing for yourself, you know, self-development. And of course, your family. You did speak about your family. Your family mm -hmm. is behind you 100%, and they're the, your biggest critic. So, I mean, family would definitely have to play a big role. Yeah. And I know they will be proud of you no matter what, what you do, and your island will be proud of you as well. So, um, we are talking to Crystal again. And when we return, we'll have some more entertainment from her. So, you are watching Personality Grenada on Kenroy Batiste Television. You watching Kenroy Batiste TV. Click, view, convenience around the clock. And we are back. I am speaking with Crystal again. Crystal is just smiling away. Crystal, <laughs> I have to blast you on television because I used to teach Crystal. And Crystal, you were never in my choir. I never knew you could sing. You never answered much questions in my class. I mean, you did very well. But I'm really, really, you know, I'm angry now. I could be your manager. I could have been your manager. Oh, oh my. For me, I mean, I was asked to join the church choir. and. As I said back then, I was so, so timid mm -hmm. that 
I just stayed in the church and, and, and sang. And in school, I never really, I did sing at my graduation though, <laughs> and that did surprise a right, lot of people right. because I think it was a security guard at the mm -hmm. school. She attended the same church as me and she went, told the principal, you this have girl to can sing, sing. let her sing at graduation. <laughs> and I did it and I was happy to do it. I was very nervous though, mm -hmm. because back then I was like, wow. Right. But I would say like my confidence, I am happy with what I'm capable of doing. Before I would feel a bit uncomfortable, like hearing someone sing and wow, this person could sing higher than me and mm -hmm. oh my gosh, she's doing that song or he's doing that song so so good and I can handle that song. But for me, no, I am very comfortable in what I am capable of doing and I think that has helped me to to blossom mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, just, just do what I do and enjoy doing it to the fullest. Right. Who, who has inspired you along the way? Who do you look up to? There, Apart from me. <laughs> <laughs> there is one person in particular. She, she uh, convinced me to join the choir. She convinced me to take part in Grenada's Best Talent. And she has always been there with me, pushing me and giving me advice, Miss Marcel Belmer. Mm. And I just have to say, with her, I mean, she has helped me in so many ways, just with her advice and just being there and mm -hmm. always telling me, yeah, go and do it, you know? She called me and I, I didn't want to take part in Grenada's Best Talent. I went with another friend of mine as a duet mm -hmm. and we weren't allowed to do a duet and do a solo at the same right. time. Right, so it was pick or yeah, and, and the other girl that I went with, she decided to go solo. Mm -hmm. So I said, I don't have a problem with that right. because I didn't want to compete in the first place. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Belma, she said, you're here already. Just do it. And I did with, I went in there with my face like, because I so didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. I didn't even prepare a song. Right. I just went in there, the first song that came to me, I sang it and they selected me. Yeah. So it was, it was, it was very exciting, it was a good experience for me. That was my first time performing like that, big mm -hmm. stage, lights and all of that, and I enjoyed it a okay. lot. Well, you, you didn't win the first time, did you? No. And um, what inspired you to go the second time again? I don't know, I just went. Mm -hmm. Miss Belmar again, okay. she called me and she said, well, you know, the competition is coming back. Mm -hmm. And I did decide not to go back because I'm not a fan of competing. Right. But I just went anyway. I made it to the finals. I, I enjoyed my performance right. so much. And, but I won't go again. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really don't yeah, like the competing. Too easy, yeah. too easy now. Too easy enough, the competing yes. aspect of yeah, it. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's not my thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Two, Grenada's best talent, right. And you're not going back. No. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give to young people coming up, even though, like, I know if they go for um, Grenada's Best Talent, mm -hmm. I mean, there's only one final winner. But I, I know a lot of people say, well, we're all winners. Would you, would you consider that? Would you tell the young, young people coming up, even if you don't win, just try it out? You know, what, what advice do you have for young people like that? What I would say to someone that is interested in, in not only singing, but any, any any uh, form of, of, of performing arts, mm -hmm. I would advise them to never compare yourself to anyone because mm -hmm. once you start comparing, you might find that that person would have mm -hmm. different abilities. I wouldn't say better, but mm -hmm. different because all of us, we are all unique. Definitely. I, I sing, but yes, I sing opera, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't even consider myself to be a high singer. Mm -hmm. So I try to make what I have work for me. Mm -hmm. So that is what I would tell to someone and take part in the competition. Mm -hmm. I, I don't regret taking part at all right. because I think if I didn't, nobody would have known right. who I am. Probably wouldn't got me yeah, all it, 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 it is good exposure. It mm -hmm. gives you the ability to go out there and showcase what you have to mm -hmm. offer and you never know. Someone might see you and interested in working with you and, and you can take your, your, your talent to the next level. Right, you never know how much love you have for that one yeah. particular thing, right? <laughs> because I'm sure just by singing, you are ex because you're singing, singers are exposed to musicians and that mm -hmm. kind of pull you towards the guitar even it more. It did, yes. Uh, I, 
was just singing, and then I started, a, started in a band. Mm -hmm. And with Ms. Belma again, she said she would like for all the members of the band to get the opportunity to learn Not to play an, an instrument. instrument. And first thing that came to my mind, I said, okay, I'm going to learn to play the piano. Mm -hmm. The piano, yeah, because, you know, that's probably the, the normal one yeah. to pick. <laughs> so I said piano, and I started for about three weeks, and I just wasn't into it. Mm -hmm. And then I said, you know what, I'm going to switch. And I switched to guitar, and I don't regret it right. at all. I, I love it. I would never call myself a guitarist, mm -hmm. at least not now. I mean, I'm still learning, but... I try my best. Right. Yeah. I think, what, what about the guitar that interests you the most? I don't know. I think is that, you know, with a piano, you have to sit, to sit you know. stay in one corner. Right. I like to move around. The flexibility. Because, yeah, yeah, you know, you, you, you get to express more, in my opinion, mm -hmm. with the guitar. And I think it suits me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It suits I, your personality. Yeah, I, I enjoy it a lot. And... It's a lot of fun being on stage. I get to sing and play the guitar. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's a lot of fun. Right. It is, yeah. You sound really, really excited about your art form. And I'm really, again, I want to express how, how happy I am to be in your presence. And you know, I've, I've known you from before. And I just think um, people like you should be emulated. And we should have a lot more people like you to talk about. And Grenada is definitely a place filled with talent. And we saw that um, recently you know, um, with the whole you know, Kirani James and so on. And there are a lot of other Kirani James out there, they may not necessarily necessarily run the 400 yeah. meters, but we have a lot of singers and actors, and we mm -hmm. have so much to give back to our community, and I'm so happy that you're one of those persons, and you, you have definitely come from humble beginnings, and um, we do want you to remain that way and, you know, show young people that, you know, you can be somebody in life. You can, I mean, you don't have to be Rihanna, but you can be Christelle, or you can be John, or you can be <laughs> Neela even, you know? Just being yourself is definitely something that we do have to, um, you know, continue you're doing, you know, being ourselves, right? So we are gonna, um, again, thank you for being thank on for Personality Grenada, and you are watching Ken Arbatiste TV, and it was really nice to have Christelle in our presence. So at this time, we wanna um, listen to her, her play the guitar, and we're very excited for that. I'm very excited for that, you know, goosebumps already. <laughs> so we're gonna have Crystal on the guitar, and she's gonna sing a song made popular by Rihanna, and she's gonna make it into a Crystal original, okay? <laughs> so um, st stay with us, we're gonna listen to Crystal singing and playing the guitar. You watching Kenroy Batiste TV. Click, view, convenience around the clock. On the first page of our story The future seemed so bright And then this thing turned out so evil I don't know why I'm still surprised Even angels have the wicked schemes And you take that to new extremes But you'll always be my hero Even though you've lost your mind Just gonna stand there and watch me burn And that's alright because I like Tell you what it feels like right now. It's a steel knife in my windpipe. I can't breathe, but I still fight. Well, I can't fight as long as the wrong feels right. It's like I'm in flight, higher for love, drunk from my hate. It's like I'm huffing pains. I love it the 
more I suffer, I suffocate And before I drown, she resuscitates me She hates me, but I love her Wait, just gonna stand there and watch me burn And that's alright, because I like the way it hurts Just gonna stand there and hear me cry And that's alright, because I love the way you lie I love the way you lie Because I like 